a lot of times it caves in on them. Mm. Or it floods, or they get sick and you can't get them out of the burrow. He's like, mmm, banana nose. We've discovered that pretty much every animal loves bananas. <laughs> have we tried them with the cavies yet? No. We'll have to go up there with the apples. And yeah, I think we're going to have time today, so we'll yeah. have to do the cavies today, too. Do you have to do any, like, upkeep for them, like trim their nails or anything? Not him, because he's out in a cage, and he digs in this hard-packed earth, and we keep these uh, <laughs> wood and the roots in here from the exercise his teeth on. I do want to put a large dog, like an old bleached dog bone in here because it's supposed to be something that they like to chew on to keep their teeth down. Look at him go. So, cute little tongue. obviously his quills are definitely his, his line of defense, but another interesting thing that these guys will do, and I wasn't aware of it till, till I learned through Kevin, is that if you look at his tail, most of the quills are short and they're hollow. And what he would do in the event that he felt threatened, probably the first thing he would do if it wasn't like an on an immediate attack is he would shake his tail and it would rank, make a rattling noise like a rattlesnake. So he would use that auditory warning first before 